These should be the telling runs. That's right. Conditioning plays a large role at this point in the fight. I think Eklund will probably start to uh, show a lot more aggressiveness now. He's, he's probably wanted to get through and show that the win over Alan Clark was not just, um, well, obviously it wasn't a fluke, but show that he can repeat again over his, over his brother Chris. Well, he probably wants to open up. Yeah. But the question is, will Clark let him? Chris seems determined to, to, to let Clark... Uh, Eklund. To, sorry, to let Eklund come and then, uh, then counterpunch. I'm not Moving sure that in. landed. A short right slip by Clark. Oh, Eklund landed there, though. Yes, he Chris did. Chris right back. Clark, counter punching. Now Eklund goes oh. after him. He got him again. Yes, he did. And they're both against the ropes. He tagged him and he let him off the ropes. Yeah. That one. Let him off. Oh, now we're getting some action. Yes, I thought Eklund throwing the hands. You notice Ackland back off there. Had him on the ropes, leaned against him, and let him off. Now we're getting a fight. We got 124 Clark left in this eighth be, round. Actually, both fighters seem a bit tired. Clark maybe a little bit more. He's back bouncing, though. Eklund trying to show that hand speed, trying to get through. Oh, yes. he scored there. Solid right. Set him up to the left. Measured him to the left. Measuring him again. Again, he measures him. Again. again. Another one. Another oh, one. Yeah. He's got him in trouble. He's Clark got him in hurt. trouble. Clark is hurt. Clark covering up. Gets off the ropes. He lets him off. Clark throws an uppercut. Another one. Obvious the control of the fight just... 46 seconds left. Rowdy. Just definitely... Eklund goes, goes after him again. Boy, he did. He had him in trouble there. But you notice that he let up on him, eased off him, let him off the ropes. Maybe he remembers Alan Clark. He might, and it might caught him. Chris throws an uppercut. Clark is tired. He is tired, but he's fought back. I think 21 right now, seconds left. I think Eklund knows that he's in control of this fight. Clark is bleeding. Seems to be being cut lip or cut inside the mouth. Five seconds left. Now conditioning is going to play a very important part in this fight. No doubt yes. about it. They both tap gloves. They both tap gloves. They Chris moving in. Oh, good shot by Chris Clark. Snapped Eklund's head back. Gets through again with that jab. Chris more aggressive. Now he gets through again. Yes. Uppercut. This is landing those lows. Eklund seemed to have control of the fight in the eighth round, but uh, Chris is certainly coming back in the ninth. Landing his left, getting through with those right jabs. I don't know whether Eklund is playing possum or just knows that he can come at him. One forty-five left in round nine, scheduled for ten. We've seen a good fight so far. Chris Clark and Dick Eklund. Eklund shows those hands again. He gets yes, through there. Oh, he good. hurt Clark. He hurt him. Yes, he did. He's flailing away. Clark hanging on. Hanging on. Ties him up. Eklund wants to go. Oh, Chris gets through with a jab. A couple of Eklund three, four. It was four shots I saw. But Eklund comes back. 
Eklund measures him with that left. 102 left, round nine. We're seeing some good action here. This is going to be a tough fight to score. More action in the last two rounds than we had in the whole fight up to now. We saw a lot of boxing, now we're seeing some hitting. Right. Eklund comes right back at him. Chris leans against him, working him on the ropes. 29 seconds left, round nine. They're tired now. Oh, quick flurry by Eklund. No damage. No damage. Chris caught those in gloves. Damage. Chris covers up well. That's going to be it. Round nine. This is it. Final round. And they tap gloves. Good entertaining fight. The crowd seems to have really swung much more behind Clark. That's right. When we first came out, the, uh, the obvious favorite I would say was Ackland. I think they've gotten the health respect for Clark now. Well, he's shown a lot. Eight months off. He's fought a good fight, but it's not over yet. other up. Not a tremendous amount of action here. Not yet. We have 142 left. Should open up now. Oh, good shot to the side of the head by Eklund. Now Eklund flurries. He's throwing wild flurries. He seems to be hitting Clark with the side of his gloves. He's doing, he's doing a lot of damage to Clark's gloves and forearms, but not much damage to Clark himself. He's got a little he's over a minute Clark, left. But uh, he's not catching him. I think we've seen a different fight tonight from what most people expected. No doubt about it. Less than a minute left. Misses with that left uppercut. Just trying to get Rally back. Eklund fights back. Both fighters tired. Yes, both they are. They're both tired. There's 28 seconds left. I doubt very much if we're going to see an. I doubt very much if we're going to see a knockout in this fight. Whoa! Fell down. No knockdown. <laughs> both <laughs> guys fell on top of each other. Both of them go down. Chris Bob Clark is very down. tired. There's no doubt about it. He really took his time getting to his feet. Both this, fighters exhausted. They are. They're really tired. But we've seen a good fight. <laughs> and it's all over. And they hug each other at the finish. Genuine respect. Yes, sir. For good Chris fight. Clark. And here's Alan Clark getting into the ring to shake Chris's hand. He's going to go over and shake Eklund's hand. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the members of the of the crowd here standing up, giving both fighters a standing ovation. It's kind of ironic that, uh, that I'd mentioned that there'd be no knockdowns in the fight, and then both of them slip and fall down on top of each other. I think so too. It's, it's Eklund and Clark shaking hands, and Marty Cole shaking hands. With him. I don't know when Alan Clark's gonna get back in the ring. I haven't heard. He's he was uh, yeah. suspended for 90 days automatically as a result of that knockout. But uh, a really good fight. Obviously I don't like being put on the spot. spot. <laughs>
but uh, Points I'm going to leave the judging up to the judges. I because they'll probably disagree with me anyways. <laughs> I think uh, Eklund probably showed at the beginning of the fight. I think he was probably a little more confident in himself than he uh, than he was at the end. He um, he certainly probably has more respect for Chris Clark. Well, he did a lot of clowning on the ropes in the opening rounds, and I dropping I his gloves. Yeah, he was trying to. I think he was trying to lure Clark into being wild, and then using that hand yeah. speed to get through. Okay. Split decision. Either a draw or a split decision. I can't see an animus decision coming out of this. The crowd obviously doesn't like it. Judge Dan Schultz scores it 47 45, Clark. 47 45, Chris Clark. It's close. Eisner scores it 48 44, Eklund. <laughs> Judge Herbie McMullen scores it 48 46. Clark. Chris Clark wins it. Chris Clark wins it. Chris Clark wins it. Clark. We're going to get a word with Chris Clark. The crowd reacts. They don't like it. A chorus of booze. They are not too pleased with that at all. Okay, we're going to have to wait here for ATV. They're going to get the first word in. See, that's what happens when you're on a big network. <laughs> Boy, the boos are resounding. Tremendous reaction from the crowd. Uh, boos. I'm going to get up there and see if I can get a, an interview with Chris Clark. Bill is going to go up and try to... Uh...